replay. Happy early morning chocolate and coffee. Hi friends! While I am behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the project tonight, here are some things that you can do. Number one, as soon as you come in, please say hashtag live or hashtag replay depending on what you are viewing. Next, I would love it if you would put a one down below if you are brand new to learning all about Chalk Couture or you may have heard about Chalk Couture but you're not currently working with the designer because guess what? I want to be your designer. Next, if you are already an amazing chocolate designer, please pop a two down below and be sure to throw me some hearts. I would love it if you would go ahead and share this video if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a chocolate designer. If you're on your mobile device, it's going to be the bottom left hand side of your video. If you're catching me on YouTube, right underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be that share button. Once again, if you are not a chocolate designer, I would love it if you would share my video. Also, watch while you guys are on my social medias, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, which is right next to that share button. And I would also love it if you turn the bell on. When Facebook gets all wonky, I can always broadcast live from YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, I want you to follow me there as well. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, it's going to be right underneath the title of the video. Um, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and then go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I go live. Next, I would love to talk to you all about Club Couture. If you're not aware of Club Couture, boy, are you in for a treat. It is the hottest club in town. Stick around to see the fun facts all about Club Couture. I can't forget the day we met. Next, if at any time you would love to hear all about the Chalk Couture opportunity, the opportunity to purchase a business in a box and to go ahead and launch your own empire, please comment join down below because I would love to uh, uh, invite you into our opportunity group where you can hear all about the designer opportunity and you will have all the information at your fingertips to go ahead and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team because I really would love to have you. Good morning, you guys. Well, this is super wonky. YouTube is not letting me broadcast for some crazy reason. I am not seeing myself at all. So that's super weird, but we're gonna keep on going. I'll figure it out later. So you guys, it is May 2nd, and let me tell you what a crazy day May 1st has been. We, hey babe, be safe. Who? Okay, sounds good. Um, <clears throat> It has been a crazy day yesterday, you guys. We launched our vault. We launched a brand new Club Couture, which you are seeing right now. Love conquers all. It is the cutest uh, Club Couture. I swear it is so adorable, and it is such a perfect sentiment for right now, you guys, okay? And here's another thing. Um, it's almost sold out already. <laughs> so we're at May 2nd. There's definitely not going to be enough for anybody who is brand new and enrolling in Club Couture this month. Um, you are going to want to do it very soon because it likely will not make it past the next two weeks, I believe. Um, so this is Love Conquers All. As it is our May Club Couture, if you are joining up to be one of my Club Couture customers, you have the ability to add on May's Club Couture because your Club Couture subscription will officially begin 
June 2020. So once you sign up for Club Couture on my site, it will ask you if you would like to add this month's Club Couture into your cart. Um, and you guys, it is super stinking cute. Check out how adorable it is once it's finished. Oh my goodness. Um, it will also ask you once you're done, or uh, once you see that, you'll, it'll also ask you if you want to add the Kickstarter kit. This is our Kickstarter kit. It comes with a 9x12 porcelain steel eight magnetic chalkboard, a two-pack of board erasers, a small squeegee, a multi-tool, a three-ounce bright white, and now a five and a half by seven and a half inch palette board. Now, Club Couture, you might be saying, well, what, what, what's so good about Club Couture? Well, number one, as a Club Couture customer, you're going to get flat rate shipping. Um, and that's on your entire order. You'll get $4.95 flat rate shipping in the U.S., $9.95 flat rate shipping in Canada. How amazing is that? On an entire order. Um, just know also, if you are not a Club Couture customer, you are still getting flat rate shipping. It's just slightly more expensive. $6.95 in the U.S. and $13.95 in Canada. Now, you also have the ability, once you join Club Couture under me, to go into my private Club Couture group where I'll make three additional projects every single month without fail to give you the most bang for your buck, okay? So Club Couture is truly, truly an awesome um, uh, club to be in. And also, as a Club Couture customer, you get access to bonus sales that Chalk Couture will offer, okay? This month, Chalk Couture is offering Last Chance Love. Um, last chance love means all my club couture customers are getting 50% off all of the items that are in our last chance section. And let me tell you something, you guys, it's May. What do they say? April showers bring May flowers in the May last chance section is our entire flower market chalk stories collection. So you don't want to miss out on that. Now, <clears throat> next thing I want to talk about is, uh, we had a lunch yesterday. Holy flipping cow, did we have our vault launch yesterday. Uh, everything's almost sold out and won't wait till the weekend. Anchors and shells, officially gone. Uh, that has officially sold out. We do still have our lemonade size D transfer, which is super cute. Um, and we also have, whoops, I thought I added this one in here. Apparently I did not. Hold on one second. Um, let me just get it up real fast. It's stuttering. Um, we also have our boho florals left, um, which is perfect for water coloring. But you guys, they're not going to last long, okay? So if you want to get your hands on our awesome vault transfers, because once they are gone, they are gone. There's no bringing them back. Um, jump over to my online store right now and grab it. If you're on Facebook, it is the pin post. I don't know if you're on YouTube because I can't find my YouTube. So hopefully it's coming up soon. Otherwise, I don't know what's going on. We'll have to figure that out later. So um, next thing and the last thing I want to talk to you about before we go live is here is my awesome um, offer to you guys. Okay, this is our brand new new designer kit. Um, I like to call it a business in a box because everything you need to run your business is going to be in that beautiful little box that they deliver to your doorstep. Um, to become a new designer, it's $99 plus tax and shipping in the U.S. and $129 plus tax and shipping in Canada. You will get everything you see here. It's five three-ounce chalk paste, a small squeegee, an apron, a 12-pack of thank you cards, a 12-pack of chalkable chips, a board and base, the gorgeous spring-summer uh, annual catalog, the Read Me, the 9x12 porcelain steel, Ada magnetic chalkboard, seven silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers, and the Club Couture transfer. Now you might be saying, Jess, that's an awful lot of stuff you just ran by me, and I have got questions. I got a lot of them, girl. No worries. I have the answers. All I need you to do is comment, join down below, and I will message you the link to my opportunity group. In my opportunity group, I have a video that I did that goes over every single detail you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team. So I am going to put this up here for all of my brand new customers. I am just finishing up trying to see if I can get YouTube to work. It's super wonky right now. I don't know what's happening. Um, where the heck is the video? All righty, you guys. So here we go. Don't mind me and my morning hair. Um, literally just woke up probably an hour ago. I was exhausted from the other night. It was end of month and then new month. Um, today we are drinking, uh, out of our Ray Dunn of the day, Bless Life. And it is Starbucks Pike, Pike's Peak Blend. And it's yummy. 
What are you guys having your cups this morning? Can, does anybody follow me on YouTube that can check and see if my YouTube channel is showing and I'm just not seeing it? I don't know what's happening, why it's not on there. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Laura. Hi, Angie Carson. Hi, Kim Holbrook. Good morning. Hey, Melinda. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Ron DeCamp. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Mary Beth. Hi, Julie Elliott. Hi, Vicki Keller. Hi, Michelle Kingis. Hi, Carol Aldrich. Hey, Darlene. Hi, Terry Gaskin. Hi, Debbie Green. Hi, Kat White. I hope you guys are all enjoying your morning. Hi, Samantha Miller. Hi, Darlene. Hi, Kathy Clark. Oh, Kathy Clark. My bad. Hi, Shelly Mellick. Julie Caldwell. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Elizabeth Burns. Hi, Steph Maddox. Hi, Dawn Marie. Hi, Karen. How are you? Hi, Patty Keeley. Karen, did you ever go to that place yesterday we were talking about? Let me know, because I might consider sending Bran out. Hey, Christy. Hi, Ann Conklin. Hi, Shannon Reed. Hi, Peggy Levesque. Nesto said other people are having issues with YouTube also. <gasps> What? I think it's Restream. I'm going to go with it's Restream because I doubt YouTube is having issues. YouTube never does. Thank you, Nikki Morris. You are the best. Tell Nest Nesto I said thank you, too. Hi, Roxanne Crane. Hi, Sharon. Hey, Lori. Hi, Leanne Parker. Hi, Cat White. So excited. My, my fell off the wagon transfers arrived. Yay! That's awesome. Not on YouTube. Okay, so yeah, it must be an issue. I'm going to go with its restream because YouTube doesn't have issues. All right, you guys. So I'm trying to brace myself and build up for the boho florals, okay? You guys know I'm not a flower girl. It's not my thing. Um, and this transfer definitely has some flowers on it. And I was like, okay, um, they're a little bit of flowers. Let's build our way up to doing something with the boho florals because not my bag. It's not something I'm into. I've never been good at flowers. Uh, can't keep them alive. Fake ones I even make fall apart, you know. So we're going to try it out. So anyway, so as you can see, I just sprayed everything that was on. This is my white frame 12 by 18 Odette. Um, so I am just going to go ahead and use my paste scraper to get all of this chalk paste off. Okay. Just like this. As you can see, it scrapes the top layer right off, okay? Whoops, hold on. Forgot to get a napkin. Um, it'll scrape the top layer right off, which will make it so easy to just come in with your board eraser and just take it right off. The rest of it. It'll, like, legit look amazing. And then, look, you just scoop the extra little chalk stuff into a napkin I mean, you guys, this is great because I used to waste so many napkins and paper towels cleaning off my chalkboards. Now, it, napkins and paper towels are hot commodities. You don't mess around with it, right? Now watch. All cleaned off. Actually, let me show you. We'll use the back end of our fuzzing, uh, fuzzing towel. Watch this. Gorgeous. Ready to re-chalk, right? Love it. Love it. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's chalk on this bad boy. So let's get our transfer ready. Put this here. Uh, good morning, Heidi Dillon. Oh, goodness, me too. I cannot even look in the direction of the flowers without them dying. Right, Shelly? Oh, my gosh. Hi, Kathy Bacon. Not been able to find you on YouTube for a long time. Not even replays. Kathy, that's super weird. You should be able to find me on YouTube. Are you following my channel? It's Crafting and Stampin'. That's super weird. I see myself every day. This is the first time I haven't seen myself on YouTube. Might hold a mass pop-up, Kat. You are so cute. Thank you, Nikki. Hi, Tina. Good morning, Shelly Santoro. It's not showing you. Okay, that's what it is. Hi, Burn. There we go. There we go. There we go. Get there. All right. So, what's the first thing we're going to do? Well, as you read, our transfers are reusable over and over and over again. So, what I'm going to do is notate the back of my transfer with the name of it. It was always you. So once I have that on, 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to peel it off my backer. Now, how I like to typically do it is I will hold one hand stationary, okay? So see how I'm holding this hand stationary? And I will move along with pulling the other hand, uh, the other side of it off, and then I will let it go. See how it just flopped back on down? Now, I'm going to take my fuzzing towel. The side that has the tag is the terry cloth side for fuzzing. The other side is what you saw how we just made our board look superb with drying it off. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this right on over. So that way we can get it all fuzzed up, right? Get it fuzzed up. Oh, let's see. Good morning, Cherry Jensen. Hi, Kim Widener. Hi, Christy Colombo. Hey, Brianne. You love fresh flowers, Mary Beth? Yeah, not my jam. Not my jam. I'm not going to lie. When I saw boho flowers came out of the vault, I was like, man, I was hoping for something different. But then I saw my awesome anchor and shells, which womp womp sold out. Such a bummer that that, I mean, that was great. Um, it's funny because in, I have a couturier chat thread, or uh, couturier group, and the, um, the uh, hashtag going around in there is blame Jessica, because as you guys know, anchors are my thing. That's my team. They are my anchors. Um, I just love it. And our team symbol was made with that transfer, the anchors and shells transfer. So, um, it was, it was kind of, it was funny that they said, oh, it was my fault. Yeah, it kind of is, I guess. Um, but I'm just happy that that came back. And the lemonade, oh my gosh, you guys, did you see my project from yesterday? I have it up in my, my kitchen already. So cute. So, so cute. Um, hi, Dion. How are you? Good morning. All right. So let's go ahead and let's do this. So I think what I want to do is... You know, here we go at flowers, Jess. I'm thinking I would like to maybe do Marvelous, Black Velvet, and Sage. I feel like those three colors look gorgeous together. Part of me was kind of thinking to throw in some guava or some couture coral. Ooh, the couture coral, actually. Might look really good. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Let's Let's do this. So I'm going to do the paste and peel method or they, I like, I call it, um, chalk and pull is what I'll, I'll call it. So what I think I'm going to do is start up in the top and I'm going to do the leaves and the pieces of the bulbs. And then I'll come back and do the flowers because I'm going to have to use my multi-tool to get to the one part of the flower. Cause it's super teeny tiny. Um, let me get some squeegees. And maybe what we'll do is we'll do one flower marvelous and one color, one flower um, couture coral. That might look super pretty. And then maybe I'll marble it down here. Well, you guys aren't able to see that part down here where my finger is. I'll pull it down. Don't worry. Okay. Got that ready to go. Let's get couture coral. Guys, I can't wait to get a shower. I'm so tired. <laughs> I want to just get ready for the day and be a giant slug. I am exhausted. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Let's do this. So maybe we'll do one of, let me get the, let me get the sage done first. Okay. So we got the sage started. Maybe I'll just do these two little bulbs. Yikes. Yeah, there it goes. That looks really good. And maybe we'll do... You know what? We'll do those two and Marvelous here. And then... I think the big bulb down the bottom, I'll do in couture coral to tie it all in. Okay. Let's 
way too much sage there, but that's okay. Put it right back into our jar. Okay, let's peel this back. Where's the... <gasps> Don't you drop. I'm trying to do that one-handed. Oh, that does look super pretty. That really does. Really? Ooh. Sorry. I'm just going to lightly drop it back down. I'm going to push over that. Make sure there's no bumps in my silk screen here. And now we're going to pull out the black velvet. Okay. Hi, Sean Marie. Hey, Euphrasia. Hi, Sally Williams. Hi, Desiree. How are you? Brianna, I had that since that lemonade transfer came out two years ago. Um, I had got it in my favorite store in my favorite section, um, but that was two years ago. I am sure some of the other stores have some. Um, I know if Karen is still watching, um, maybe Karen can tell you where she found hers. They're not the same, but they are shaped. They're just more of a chalkboard. Um, maybe she can fill you in on where she got hers. Um, you guys can talk in the team page because you're both on the team, so... Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and let's get our black velvet going for our words here. And I'm using a small squeegee to do this so that way I can make quick work of it. Just like this. I'm going to try to slow my roll right here so I don't pull any black out. Okay, now squeegee all that excess right back into your jar. Don't waste any. And you don't want lines to be on your air. Oh, I must f*** that right into the flower. That would not have been good. Okay. So there's that. Now let's do our pull. Oh, I love this font. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Wow. All right. I will tell you, yes, maybe I'm not a fan of flowers, but this one's stunning. Wow. Okay, there is that part. Now I'm just going to drop it back down. I'm going to scooch it up so that way you guys can see how we're going to do the flower down here. Okay, so I'm grabbing my sage. I'm going to do all the little leaf parts first. Not leaf, you know what I mean. Um, the little bulb things. What are these called? The little stems first. Okay. And what I'll probably do is all of the little bulb areas, I'll do them in Marvelous and I'll do Couture Coral for the big flower down here.
trying to move super quick. Where's the squeegee? Here it is. Whoops, hold on. Let's see, just a little spot right there. Okay, so if I could just get this little spot done. Okay. Okay. So all those pieces are done. We're going to pick it up and make sure that it doesn't dry. And then we'll push it back down. Oh gosh, it looks so pretty. Gosh, it really does. Love it. Oops, hold on. Okay, I just want to make sure that I have no bumps in my little flower here because I did so well. I don't want to screw it up now. Okay, looks pretty good. All right, let's get some couture coral in since I did so much of the marvelous above. I'll do couture coral all down below here. Uh-oh, and I do have a bubble. No bueno. Okay. Yeah, it didn't matter that I had a bubble because it didn't affect it at all. Look at this, you guys. Look how beautiful that turned out. Oh, wow. Those flowers are gorgeous. Didn't think I'd say that. Never thought I'd hear those words coming out of my mouth, but I do love them. Oh, wow. Such a pretty, pretty. Oh, I love it. I actually really do love it. Wow. Hi, Amy Whitehead. I melted one of my transfers. Oh, no, Debbie Green. Thank you, Diana McFadden. Hi, Bobby. Oh, cool, Brianna. Yeah, definitely. Hi, Debbie Adams. Hi, Kathleen DeBella. I miss you, Kathleen. Hi, Judy. Hi, Luann. Thanks, guys. Hi, Trish. Good morning. Renee, can you ask me that stuff like in a message? Do you mind to do that? One more leaf, I think. You think one more leaf? So, Dion, yeah, I do because if you're moving slower, like I'll move slow sometimes just to make sure that I'm not making a mess because you guys know how messy I am. I'll paste and pull or chalk and lift um, in between so that way I know that... Um, the chalk paste isn't drying on the transfer. Because if it dries on the transfer, when you pull the transfer up, you're going to have no design. So you want to do it in between. What pink is that? So I used Mobilis and Couture Coral, Cat. Hi, Jaredell. Thank you, Shalee. Thanks, Heidi. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. Hi, Karen. Thanks, Tina. Hey, Shirley Hess. I wasn't sure of this one, but this turned out marvelous. Oh, thanks, Sherry. Thanks, Vicki. Hi, Iris. How are you? Okay, so let's get this back. Okay. I'm going to close this up. Okay, so let me just get this out of the way and I'll lift it up and show you guys the full project. Hold on. I'm trying not to make a mess with the black velvet chalk paste. Get in here. Okay. Let me 
Okay, come back here. So here, there it is. It was always you. Look how pretty that is. I love this font. I hope we have more stuff with this font. It really looks like a paintbrush. It really does. I got news for you though. The more I look at this, the more the other flowers should be couture coral up here. I feel like they should just because of how pretty and bright these are. I feel like they need to be. I don't know. See, I'm not so good with flowers, but I do like the way this turned out. So there's that. All right, guys, while you're watching or while you were watching, if you said to yourself, oh, gosh, I really want to hear more about Club Couture. Comment club down below. I'll get you those details. If you want to hear the details about joining my team and becoming a designer yourself, Come and join down below and I'll message you the link to my opportunity group so you can hear all of the details. And if at any time you want to go into my VIP group, as long as you are not a chalk couture designer, come at me down below. So that's it. Early morning chocolate and coffee is complete. I hope you guys um, enjoyed the project and I hope you guys have an awesome day. I'll be back tomorrow afternoon, early afternoon, probably about 1, 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I can't wait till we can go back to doing Saturday and Sunday mornings, both early morning chalk and coffee. It'll be soon, hopefully. Um, and that's that, you guys. I just hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you all later. Bye, you guys.